Topics. No topic. Clams. Casino. Vacations. Whatever we want to talk about. Honeymoon. Shoes. Matter of fact, um, like <laughs> matter of fact, we're already on. How about that? Yeah. That's how we do it. We don't just. There's no like fucking weird hard start with our with our um, a hard R. <laughs> hard, there's no hard R on ours. <laughs> no hard R on you. Um. Are you so. calling her? No, no, no. We're, we're Who's giving you away, Allie? My daddy. Your dad's going to give you away? Yeah, I got a coupon, though. <laughs> <laughs> I got a coupon for her. Actually, I got it on Gropon. Because <laughs> <laughs> once we get married, I'm going to get my Gropon. Because I'm very respectful. I said he can't get too drunk because he's supposed to carry me over the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get good, yeah. but I'm not going to get, you know, yeah. shit-faced. And you don't want to drink much, do you? I'm going to get her fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that night. I just want to let you know that Vanessa has some things to do, but he came and spent some time with us anyway. You know? I just go. want you to know, Polly, that you're the one that didn't want to be on the podcast, but you're talking the podcast. Well, so <laughs> With no goddamn Bobby microphone. Here, you can be the little commentator. <laughs> You're Eddie today, fucking Polly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lord Finestra just walked in. So yes. we're sitting here with um, Clay, Clams Casino Roberts. Thank you. Lord Underboss Finesse. Hey, hey. Yes. Hey, hey. Allie, Mrs. Peters. Peters. <laughs> My wife. Yes. Wife to be, but I'd say wife already because... It's there. It's there. I mean, what's what's what's, what's, what's the difference? And yours truly. Oh, and me. Obviously, me. I'm talking. And Polly, you'll be hearing him chirping in the background <laughs> from time to time. Uh, if you hear what you think is uh, a door not opening, probably that's just Polly stuttering. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Polly is stuttering, mumbling, breaking. <laughs> What'd you do to deserve this? Fifteen ninety five, I think. Always known to be seventeen years. You know that. Is it seventeen uh, years. Wow. Wow. Seventeen years. A pure bliss, right, Russell? Um, <laughs> let me tell you something. He's never made more money in his life. <laughs> He's made upwards of five to six thousand dollars. Don't spend it. Invest it. War bonds. NFT. <laughs> NFTs. <laughs> Get an NFT with that money, there, Polly. <laughs> So. so we've done some shows already. Um, what did we do? We did uh, Chicago. Did you come to Chicago? No, no. Oh, you should have come to Chicago. I, I do your fun I, shows. You know the shows I like to go with you. Egypt. Oh, yeah. The Egypt show was uh, amazing. <laughs> well, these two bros are still talking over us. <laughs> Sorry. We went from no I'm talking used to, to just talking over each other now. <laughs> what was that Egypt show like for you? Uh, it's thanks. Um, <laughs> wow. Oh, Egypt was awesome. Um, <clears throat> the whole um, Middle Eastern process there, because because uh, the way I wrote the act was like I wrote it all in America this time, and I wrote it very American centric. And when I got to Jordan, I realized I think it's a little too American centric. Well, it didn't work as well in Jordan, but it worked really well in Egypt for some reason. Yeah, like the Egyptians were much more open to the act. I don't think the Jordanians understood half of it. Um. Jordan's a much more homogenized society. Though. Yeah. Egypt has a lot of outsiders and and expats that came back, like, yeah. you know, non-resident Egyptians. <laughs> NREs? NREs. <laughs> I had one this morning. <laughs> and uh, they, so they had a lot of uh, kids that were either born in America or Canada and moved back to Egypt because they spoke Arabic and understand the Western world. And they're all in that hotel business. This is great. They were they were amazing shows, though. I thought um, I thought they were great. I thought Jordan was disappointing, and that wasn't Jordan. I don't blame. I blame me for that. I think it was a good show. People enjoyed it, but I I feel like I could have been better and tighter. And then the first show in Egypt, I should have been better and tighter. And then the second show, I was like, okay, I got this now. Yeah, because it takes me a couple of shows to get my legs internationally again. Yeah. Well, I think you were a little worried about the material and how it was going to translate, right? Yeah, and then on, on the last show, I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to do what I do. And then that worked. But, Angelo. But she also had some 
news. Oh, okay, no. Kind of triggered some. Well, other, yeah, we also had some, some technical awful. difficulties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had some technical difficulties on the first show. Yeah. And then the, and then the day of the last show, that's when Kango passed away. Yeah. Uh, he was sitting at the table with me when I got the text. I had to run away from the table. Listen, listen. Yeah. Someone passes and it's a friend. It's hard. And, and yeah. You know, as they always say, the show must go on. And you were yeah. a champion. And then and I was like, all right, I'm gonna do this show for him. Yeah. And then it went really well. Was it cathartic yeah. to do it by the show after you just heard? Was it? I mean, was I mean, I, I had the show regardless, but. Mm-hmm. I think it's cathartic if you didn't have a show and then you go to it. But yeah. well, listen, you had, you had almost five thousand people show up and and you nice. didn't disappoint them. Yeah, it was good. And, and then they were all yelling, at, "Lord of Finesse, Lord of Finesse, <laughs> <laughs> where the heck is Lord of Finesse?" No, that wasn't happening. They Under actually the boss. asked for Gerald Under Levert. The boss. <laughs> huh? They say, "Where's Mr. Levert?" Ah, uh, see, you got <laughs> Allie hanging out with you too. too much. <laughs> She's cracking jokes. She's getting in on the jokes. She's <laughs> initiating the jokes now. Yeah, that's what happens. Once you go, uh, that's, I, a lot of you don't know this. My real Indian name is Balls Deep. And uh, <laughs> once I get Balls Deep in her, she's uh, wow. basically my victim. You really had me thinking for a minute, like, <laughs> well, see, I got to understand, this is this dude 24-7. <laughs> and now Allie is a part of it. and Yeah, she might be worse than him now, right? <laughs> yeah, she oh, comes yeah. with the Lord Grill Ski and the Gerald Verd and, you know, I get it. You know, well, listen, when you try on your new blazers and you got all these new, <laughs> you got these new outfits sponsored by Disco Balls. And, you need uh, theme songs when you walk in. Yeah. yeah see, I'm here I, for I, you. I, 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 <laughs> a lot of times when he walks in here, he hears, ah, here they go. Here they go. All I'm doing is trying to, you know, be sharp, you know. And then he got, the, he got the kazals on. Yeah, I see a lot of people, you know, younger than me looking burnt out. So, you know, <laughs> you know, Father Tom is very abusive to a lot of people. He's been my friend, you know. It's funny, I was showing my daughter um, videos of her when she was like maybe two or three years old. And I'm in the video and she's like, Daddy, he looks so young. And I'm like, wow. Um, I was like, wow, that's that's messed up. You're only 11. Um, and then I go, what about now? I like you now better. See? Like, yeah, but that's, that's, that's the only one you can like. You can't go back and make the decision that you like the old you. Does she know that, though? Well, no, she knows that it's hurtful, so she's very sweet. <laughs> no, I say that, too. I say I like the way you look now versus when you back then. That's what I say. But Ooh. also the style that I'm yeah. doing is back then. It's not like now. No, I'm looking at your face. Your face is a your face. <laughs> your face is your a face. Fucking face, face. <laughs> I was like, I wouldn't have talked to him back then. But no? Of course, no. You would have talked to me in the 90s. No, I wouldn't have. You know, I wasn't black enough. Well, I, I forget how I was back. <laughs> wow, how that's... It's a creep. She was into black guys and then. Yeah. <clears throat> she really was. And I was like, hey, I'm the closest thing you're going to get to one without... He was stalking me in Nordstrom's. <laughs> I didn't. I just saw her. We talked about this on a past episode, but I saw her and thought she was cute. I was like, she's a kid. Man. Like, yeah, I know I could have. I know that's so. that's not how you think. You look <laughs> yeah, what? what I'll tell you how. I was with Rap and Rico you know, when I first saw her. Yeah, him. but you know. No, no, but I looked he's, at her. She's being real cool about no, it. No, 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 no. Men I, be thinking like, yeah, she could get it. Oh, you know, for sure. <laughs> she get it. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. how, but that's all I was thinking. I was thinking, like, ooh, I want to marry her one day. I didn't think like that. I just thought she was cute. But, you know, I had my own situation going on. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not trying to complicate my already complicated situation any further. Yeah. yeah. And then... Uh, and I didn't want to be a part of that And then when the, when, the, when, wow. when the time was right, when I was a... Uh, uh, when I w- w- paroled, I... Um, <laughs> I was still wearing an ankle monitor, though. Um, <laughs> Um, that's when we that's when we finally met. You didn't make an ego on him, did you? No. Are you kidding me? She threw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> she threw her, her little catcher's mitt in my catcher's mitt. <laughs> I no. wasn't there when they first met, but I was... You were there the next day. You were there when... No, you were there when we started actually dating. No. We right. met New Year's Eve party. Right. We seen each other after Thanksgiving the year prior. No, we yeah, were no, officially no, no. introduced on New Year's Eve. Right. So no, I saw her in November, at right. Thanksgiving, right, right before Thanksgiving. After. No, it was right before. Because no, it was after because 
you said how Dante says, how's Thanksgiving? You're like, yeah, I still got a couple of stragglers. And that really? was me going right behind you. Yeah. So it was after Thanksgiving. That's when they left right away. So I'm trying to think. think. Where was I at? Um, hmm. I came in. Hmm. Rico, Rap, Spinbad came down. Right. Spinbad's son was there. I was there then. I was there. Yeah, you were there, weren't you? Yeah, I'm always there for Thanksgiving. Not, you know, I'm the chef. I'm, you know, people are like, you must be the freeloader. No, I'm the chef. Oh, that was the yeah, <laughs> oh, you were there, wow. That was the year he was crying, remember? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He was there. He was, in fact, there. And that was the last time he was there. Yeah, I, he was I like, I'm, to, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta leave you out for yeah, a little while, brother yeah. Russ. No, nah, which I understood. Yeah, I understood it. I, I. He tried the same thing. <laughs> you read, you know, you read the energy, you know. Yeah, and I was like, I got you, kid. Yeah, anyway. I, I didn't even sweat you about it. I'm like, I get it. Yeah. Same with Lou. Lou did the same thing. Yeah, you know, you had the house of horrors going on. You know, <laughs> it was a. Uh, it was an interesting time, to say the least. The International House of Pancakes? <laughs> no, International House of Horrors, you know? <laughs> I hope. Hey, you know? Let's go. <laughs> We're not gonna get nice, nice Ramones tomorrow. one. See what you did there. <laughs> Thank you. I try. <laughs> Wasn't as good as the line that you did in the Ritz Carlton in uh, Cairo. Remember Which what you one? said? I'm still laughing. The chef of the uh, hotel came up, and he had the chef's coat on, mm -hmm. and his name was Muhammad Atta. Mm -hmm. And uh, he looked at me, and I was like, don't you dare. <laughs> Muhammad Atta was one of the hijackers from 9-11. Oh, anyway, shit. well, but it wasn't him, obviously, <laughs> yeah. because he's no longer with us. <laughs> <laughs> if he is, he was a really good cook, because the Clams <laughs> Casino were fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, he was very gracious, and, and, and brought Russell all of this food, and the table we were all sitting together having this nice breakfast <laughs> and he looks at russell who says is anything missing and russell said yeah the other two pilots <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, wow i couldn't help myself <laughs> you could help yourself but and that's why we love you <laughs> he had no idea get it. Yeah. i laughed like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> ran away and then i said wouldn't it be funny if as he was getting it to the table the, the, the plate just fell out of his hand <laughs> Anyways, Never a dull guy. moment. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, this this dude twenty four seven, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, and then he got—I've never seen this before. He got a cake on the, one of the flights, a flight from Amman, sure. Jordan to Cairo, mm -hmm. with his picture on it. And they brought him a cake and the coffee, the cappuccinos. Oh, you saw the coffees they made me there? In the, yeah, it was very lounge. strange. With my face on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When this happened? Yeah, in, when you uh, left when, Jordan? When we're to leaving Jordan, flying to Cairo, and I brought you a cake on a plane. The little cake the size of that ashtray. During the flight, they brought him a cake with his face on it. And it said, um, I have a picture of it. Yeah, I think I've seen it, but so shit. Heard you were shot. And, and the coffee. The cappuccinos they had. Coffees. Had and the coffee is hot. <laughs> um, like, Why did you just get a... ring the bell to get a fucking beverage. You're bringing <laughs> <laughs> getting cakes with his picture on it. You know, you know what you're right, huh? <laughs> yeah, I ran that shit a couple of doom, doom. <laughs> I'm Peters, here's a cake, you know. <laughs> cake, coffee. You know. Yeah, they looked yeah. at me and they gave me a pile of medical Complimentary waste. of the staff here. <laughs> really appreciate you. You didn't get one with your picture on it? No, I'm Jewish. They gave me a pile of medical waste. <laughs> <laughs> they just tattooed a number on his wrist. Oh, weird. wow. Okay. <laughs> now. And I called it and Russell answered. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> Sir, you're having a problem with the number on your wrist? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's one of the coffees they made me. Wow. Yeah, I see. Like, I'll, I'll was that picture. painted on? Like, I have no, they, I don't know how like they did that, that shit. <laughs> they did it somewhere in the that galley, which is very weird. very autistic. At your age. To, to, come on, man. So and they then, must have like a little. So it was, no, what it was, what it was, was the 58th anniversary of Royal Jordanian Airlines. So they had this big cake. <laughs> nice. That, uh, <laughs> And the president of Royal Jordanian wanted me to take a picture of him in the cake. And he was very nice. So I had no problem doing it. And also, you know, I'm, my friend is the royal part of the Jordanian airline. So I'm like, you know, in honor I of my friend. Enough flexing. I had a little mild flex, mild yeah. flex. Humble brag. Yeah. yeah. And then this is the cake they brought me on the plane. Uh, okay. You know, I'm not And it gonna, says, it's you know. RJ's birthday, Royal Jordanian's birthday. So act your age. So yeah, then it like says someone's going to get a heartburn real bad. <laughs> yeah, 
So you get the cake, like I said. Did you let him know, babe? Well, I think, um, I don't know if I've even let you know this before, Bob, uh, Bob Finesse. But, um, wow. <laughs> and it's not easy for me to tell you this because. Uh, yeah, I already know that. Oh. I, uh, <laughs> oh boy. I really don't know how to word this any other way, but I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> I see, I'm still waiting on my fucking ginger ale with ice <laughs> and cakes and shit. He put cuffs in my pants. You, know? you want a ginger ale? I get you one right now. Nah, I'm good now. We at the West Wing. Shit, I get a ginger ale now. Shit. You even know where the hidden stash of Coke Zeros are. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> me. Have you been having? You never had no soda, right? In the past couple of days. Nah. Good, good. No, I'm doing great. I'm yeah, Vanessa's this, on a diet. This, uh, I wouldn't call it a diet. Pro this, regime. Just like yeah. a cleansing. Right. Yeah, cleanse. Let's say that. Yeah, your belly is definitely going down. Because a diet, a <laughs> diet is like temporary. You know. It's an odd hiccup. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nah. Diet is temporary. That means once you get to a certain level, you're gonna fuck up again. So yeah, yeah. yeah. let's call it a cleansing. Cleansing. It's only gonna last Because it has its vegetables until... and fruit. Yeah. Yeah. And water and tea. So it's that's more of a cleansing, a cleansing at this point. <laughs> Yeah. I hope Gladys got to your bathroom to get that toilet a cleanse. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, I went bathroom room like that. I'm good. Oh my my I'm... shitter looks like a, somebody came in with a Uzi. And... <laughs> <laughs> that's your your room to be. Uh, yeah, that's your husband. I know. I'll be taking a shit and come stand it. there and talk to him. Like, can I finish? I embrace it. <laughs> I'm like, it, it's really smelly. And he goes, Yeah, I know. I'm like, Well, why would you stand in it? Well, he leaves the door open. Yeah, that's just not. Nah. <laughs> He needs his room when he does that. No, right? he literally is like, I have to poop. And he sits. <laughs> I was like, well, can I get time to get out? Can hey, I you have out? an interesting <laughs> restroom procedure. Yeah. Or and I? You specifically. Well, you know, as soon as I'm done eating breakfast, it's on. It's like Piper. <laughs> does he go in a circle yeah. first? <laughs> he circles. Well, right, right. He sniffs it. And then goes. Yeah, you have to clean up after. <laughs> like Piper, right? yeah. Exactly. Piper looks at you like, clean my shit up. Was well, anytime you ask me, he asks, he'll say, uh, I want to go on this airline. And I've pretty much been on every airline on this planet. He's like, well, how's the first class? I'm like, it's very nice. And he's like, how big is the bathroom? Yeah. I'm like, it's the airplane bathroom. He's See, like, here's the thing. No, I, yeah. Having been on Emirates, I feel like all first class bathrooms should be like that. <laughs> Doesn't need to necessarily have the shower, but it should be a nice big space for you. You should have a nice big space. It should. Like but. British Airways really failed on that one. Well, they're not big on bathrooms. Anymore, well, no, or so or teeth, but yeah. <laughs> but like the the first class on British Airways is good, and then the bathroom is as good as the economy bathroom on fucking Spirit. <laughs> but then you go to the business class bathroom on on British Airways, and it's nice. And I'm like, well, so do I pay less and get a better fucking bathroom, or do I pay more and get a shit bathroom? Can't you just walk to the back? Well, I'd have to do that. I had to walk through Savage. Well, then you know it might be. To the bathroom with those people, wow. and they're all looking at me in my pajamas. Because <laughs> when you go on first class on a lot of these airlines, they give you pajamas, and uh, I have a song that I sing when I'm putting on those pajamas because I take everything off, and I just sit there and I look at somebody, I look at whoever's with me. I go, they go, how are you? I go, and I'm free, free bowling. What do you mean, whoever's with you? Like my brother, if he's sitting oh. across from me, or whoever. Right. Spinny would be the one. Yeah, she usually, that, Spinny she, would be the one that, that would be. Yeah. Perspective, real quick. Yeah, yeah, don't even catch that. That. <laughs> no, it's one of so, us. Uh, yeah. Who else be there? Yeah, it, it was usually me, Spinny, or my, me and my brother. We would sing free balling. Me and Spinny would always sing free balling. Are you? And we'd be like free balling. <laughs> and then I would like wrap the pajamas around my ball and cock, <laughs> and just like, <laughs> just to like you know. I'm sorry, Clay. <laughs> See, this is crazy. So. You ever had to get dressed and you're in your pajamas and then they make everybody fucking deep plane? <laughs> I mean, it, it could happen. And then you got to get off the plane in your pajamas in the airport. Yeah, but they give you slippers and everything. So? Well, everyone there is almost in pajamas anyway, so. No, in fairness, yeah. Yeah. No. I'm a little jealous. I'm a little jealous. No, I wouldn't wear Listen, no pajamas, the, huh? I'm telling no? you, they, you wouldn't. They give you pajamas in first class. You wouldn't put them shits on. Nah, I wear some shorts or something. You know. Son, these pajamas are awesome. <laughs> what do they like? They flannel. They no, no, they're like silk. <laughs> they're like <laughs> that material that she's wearing right there. What is this velvet? What is this velvet? <laughs> 
Ness is, the, Ness is the guy that wears socks on the beach. <laughs> so he's not gonna change. That is me. That is me. I'm glad you know. <laughs> He'll wear the flip slides and the socks. Yeah, you know, <laughs> straight hood. <laughs> you know what's weird is, and I'm not, and I don't, and I don't want to see it. But if we've been living together two years now, and I've never seen his feet once. I don't even know if he has them. I'm sensitive about my feet. They got they <laughs> fucked up. You got fucked up feet. I don't want to see them. Please. Nah, they, ain't, they ain't fucked up, but you know, I'm just like weirded out about my feet. No, I get it. I mean, I'm, you know, I get it. I don't want to. <laughs> Here's the good news. I don't ever want to see a man foot, so we're good. My feet found my husband. That's how she got on her feet. Courtney has a, a wiki feet page. Do you know that? I do. It's two pictures of me and one of my friends. So. <laughs> how crazy was that laugh? <laughs> He's like, oh my God. <laughs> Is it a foot page? or? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, she's looking it up. It's, Look like, the f- it's like Wikipedia, but wiki feet. Right. So any celebrity feet yeah. are on there. Really? Mm-hmm. Look at the footnotes. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the clip notes. <laughs> Those would be mine. That's great. How yep. dare you? My feet are what caught my man. Mm-hmm. Right, honeymoon? <laughs> Where? I don't know. What are you thinking? We're Let's thinking, go. Bring, we're thinking Goa. I've never been. That was very nice. You like Goa. You've never yeah. been to Goa? No. Why don't you Goa? <laughs> Have you gone out to Goa? <laughs> Where is this at? India. India. The West Coast of India. Okay. Right? Yeah, but then you're going to, you're not going to, you can't chill there. Oh, I could chill there. And we'll get treated like fucking royalty. You'll be treated like royalty, but. And that's the good news. That's what you want. It's beautiful there, right? You've been many times, I would imagine. It's fantastic. Yeah. Goya? Taj. The Taj uh, something or other in Goa. Him and this royalty thing. Goa? Or Goya? Or what is it? Goa. Goya is the one that makes the beans. Yeah. <laughs> Goya will make you Goa to the bathroom. <laughs> Where else? So it's just like beach, sand, mm-hmm. you know, the whole Ocean. decor. Mm-hmm. Land. It's just Beautiful. not It's not saturated with Instagrammers. Yeah. Influencers. <laughs> That's what you think. Not yet. Not yeah, good. like Dubai would be no good. No. No, I wouldn't want to go. Like Dubai's good to go for business or fun. Yeah. It's not to go for a, for a honeymoon. Maldives? That's too fucking isolated. I would lose my mind. Plus, like, <laughs> don't they got something in Dubai mm. where you can't That's kiss in the streets? That's why we didn't go to Tulum or, and went to Cancun. What's going on with that? Yeah. You can't kiss in the streets? Or where? Dubai. Well, to my wife, I can kiss her in the street. Yeah. They don't. I mean, not, I know, nobody's going to run up to you and be like, don't kiss that woman. You know? <laughs> I just know. I, I just heard. Have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these infidels kissing. But you have to be married. No, that's you what you don't have to be, but it's definitely. But you can't be doing stuff like you, you're asking for problems if you're doing you're doing stuff. <laughs> In the I mean, we're not gonna bang in this. We don't bang in the streets here. I don't know. We bang in the, the subway there. in Dubai. <laughs> No, but I'm saying like if well, no, we've not gone to here. a subway uh, sandwich place. <laughs> no, we have not. No, I know. Oh boy! I just wanted to make it seem like we're these wild people who <laughs> let me get a foot long. How about two six inches? <laughs> I have a coupon. Oh, crazy. Oh, combo meal. And like two high school kids in here. <laughs> yeah, true, right? Maybe we should send it's you down. It's interesting though because I'm like, you know, I'm. Not really in the mood all the time. This fucking chick, Jesus. <laughs> she ain't nothing but a horn dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, I'm just tired. And she'll be like, okay. And like 10 minutes later, and I'm like, what the fuck? Dude? What's wrong? How did you do this? Who's <laughs> testing you? Just yeah. wanted to see if it worked. Well, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It works. <laughs> Okay. Look at me. Y'all, y'all the kids running around the house. You know? Well, your mom's here, so you two have to behave. No, no, that my mom's stop worse than you've seen. Well, you, what did my mom say to you when you whipped out that cucumber today? Yeah, she said that she put it in and it was so big it came out of her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay, Mrs. Peters, thank you for dinner. <laughs> That's legit what my. He yeah. held up a cucumber like a foot and a half long, an 18 inch cucumber. Yeah. And he goes, ah, and she goes, 
Uh, and she was like, I already tried it. It's too big. I put it in. It came out of my mouth. Like, this is his 80 year old mother. My 80 year old mother said that. I told Clay that her favorite comic friend of yours is um, Jason, Jason Rouse. Rouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, get him on the phone. <laughs> no, you, yeah, Rouse. Oh, I thought you was going to say Yoshi is. Jason, she likes Yoshi too, but she, Jason, Jason Rouse, Rouse is 10 degrees worse. Yeah. Degrees. Yoshi is straight. Gothic comedy, like he's no, 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 he'll be Rouse. straight, seen Rouse? and then he'll go nah. extreme left. You're like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Rouse, Yoshi, Yoshi. Yeah, yeah. I'm a twisted individual, and the first time I saw Yoshi when he opened for us, mm-hmm. I was like, wow, this might not be okay. Right. <laughs> first time yeah. I s- watched his show, one of his first shows. <laughs> well, Actually, his first show that here. I watched, him, Yoshi opened for him or did a guest spot. And I was, we were all like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> And then he's at the end, he's all, I do kids' parties. They're like, Oh, I'm sure he does. <laughs> Let me give an example of um, one of Jason Rouse's jokes so you can understand. I think I've told you this joke is before. Okay. Fact. He said, um, So when I was uh, younger, my dad caught me and my brother smoking. So to punish us, he called us in the garage, sat us down, pulled out a big cigar, and made us suck his cock. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Because I'm joking, there was no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> Just Papa Cock. <laughs> wow. Allie, <laughs> yeah, you've never seen Jason Ross's stuff? No. Oh. Canadian? Did you show me? Oh, yeah. Funny as hell, though. Really funny. He's, he's like watching a live R- X rated cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, where is he at now? He's in Austin. I'm going to see him on there next week. Oh, nice. He's actually a sweet, really sweet guy. He's a very sweet guy. He's a very sensitive, sweet guy. That's the irony of it all. But he's into that really, really dark death metal. Like, that's what he listens to constantly. And it's like, not like, you know, the heavy metal I like. Like, the hardest I get is, like, Slayer, which is pretty hard. But the shit he likes is makes Slayer sound like the Eagles. <laughs> nah, Russ, Russ, nah, I can say that. Russ, I call Russ, Russ Hasselhoff. Because, you know, going to Vegas, he plays his rock. And it's Remember, over. Yeah, I woke up and I thought I was in, what's that movie with this dude, uh, The Accountant? When he went to the house and was playing all that wild rock shit. I woke up with that shit going. He doing about a hundred and something. You know. Yeah. I can't. I put, I want to put my headphones on. I don't do it when you're in the car. No, he doesn't do it. He did the the first couple of times we drove to Vegas. He yeah, did. I get in the mood, like, so that's why I like driving to Vegas by myself, because oh then I can do whatever the fuck I want. Because right <laughs> yeah, he plays uh, it loud. It's not even like kind of, I can understand Well, you can't listen loud. to metal low. <laughs> no, but it's like, you know, you're, okay, the so easy listening like sounds of uh, One to Slayer. ten, you play it like at nine and a half. Hmm. And wait, does it have to be this fucking loud? Really? Yeah, to get the effect. No. Look, and whatever he, he needs to get us to Vegas, right. I'm gonna let him play that shit. <laughs> I don't want to play no R and B shit and fall That's asleep. Why I deal with and, yeah, exactly. and it's a quick ride. It keeps right? him up. Yeah. Two and a it's half. It's a quick hours. ride. Oh yeah, this is like the Concord right here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you get to fucking oh, did you ever ride the Concord, Clay? Yes. How was it? Uh, amazing. Uh, but tight, right? Small inside, like um. Well, boy, I can't like, say it. Like, like a. I'm like, hold on. Like a tube. <laughs> like a G5. Yeah, okay. And uh, a lot of pop and circumstance around the flight. The only thing they didn't do was issue a white cat to pet during the flight. <laughs> it was very, uh, it was amazing. The, the actual technology was amazing. Well, there, there's, um, I think Boeing's working on a supersonic jet right now. Yeah. I think a couple of companies are working on supersonic flight, which I'm excited about. Yeah, so you, you like to finish your shows and go. Oh, but yeah. You didn't want to stay the night. And the wackiest thing. And then you then you take those five a.m. flights home. You're out of your mind. Well, because I look at it as look, I, my my days at home are so numbered when I'm here. Like they're yeah. so limited, and so I'm gonna maximize the days. Yeah. So, so you I'd sleep. rather sit here and be sleepy all day, yeah, than be stuck somewhere else and get home and be like, all right, I'm just gonna go to bed. Well, you're not because <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go <laughs> to bed. That doesn't mean. <laughs> Um, fucking Eartha Kid over here is not going to get me. <laughs> <laughs> She'll even call me Marcus. I don't have any panties on. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> what was the show we did? Uh, I was with you and Angelo and I forget who else was there. West Palm Beach. 
the flight was, I think your flight was literally at 5 30 in the morning, finished the show. We went and had cigars out in front of the hotel, had yeah. more cigars, had some drinks, and you guys went to the airport and flew home. You, you yeah. were home by 8 a.m. Well, because we had a, wasn't it a drive, like an hour drive to the airport? Something like that. that. Yeah. We had to get. Well, Angela was driving in the left blinker on the whole time. <laughs> oh, I'd never let Ange drive. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm fucking the worst. Really? Oh, oh my God. It's like driving with a 95 year old man. <laughs> Well, I'm, like, I'm going. I'm, I'm doing the speed limit. <laughs> yeah, you're doing the speed limit of a school zone <laughs> on the freeway. And then you're the extreme. I'm the opposite. Yeah. Way opposite. No, I, I, I drive safe. He had a dog throw up in his car. That's how bad his driving is. First of all, <laughs> you're not a dog. The, <laughs> the dog, the little puppy threw up in his car. Yeah, Piper? No, no, my friend's dog. Yeah, his friend's dog. Maybe something wrong with the No, the one friends. that when we went to Koi. Remember when I went to Koi? My yeah. friend brought that puppy with him. My yeah. buddy Tom. Yeah, maybe he feed the dog before y'all left. No, what was the dog's the, name again? Linus. Linus. He's so cute. Yeah. Oh, a little yeah. rescue. He sounds like he should throw up. He, he did. No, his <laughs> driving made him throw up. What were you listening to? It was his driving. It Russ, has nothing Russell, to do with the music. Did the puppy have driving. clams casino at any point during the day? <laughs> the puppy no, have worms. He, he, he tends to do this. <laughs> did the dog did that? No. This no, because guy I, is driving. Look at like speed up, then the guy in front of me slows. So I got to slam the brakes and then guns the engine, then slams the brakes and then guns <laughs> it. The the best. Guy, I'm like, Fuck. Russ don't care who's in the car. The car got to go a certain speed. Right. <laughs> I feel like it's going to shut know? off if it doesn't. <laughs> like, like, you know, if, the if, worst. if I'm driving, it's like, yo, you hit the M. Hit the M. You yeah. know, go faster. Come on, man. Pick the shit up. He does you that know? to me, too. I'm like, Well, you get me. these fast cars, and it doesn't make sense to drive them slow. No. Listen, Tracy Chapman, this is what you got into. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not. Even when I'm driving. Listen, you got him. a fast car. <laughs> He's like. And I got a ticket to get us out of here. <laughs>